Today we're checking out the news app in iOS 9. Let's get something straight right off the bat. The news app in iOS 9 is beautiful. When you launch it up for the very first time, you're even greeted by a nice tutorial that suggests sites that you might be interested in reading. And once you've gone through that process, you're greeted by five tabs down below near the bottom of your screen. The first tab is called For You, and the way that I understand it works as of right now is that it basically puts all the new sites that you've said you're interested in following and shows their stories in the same tab. It's basically like the central news feed of the news app. Next to that you have favorites, which is my personal favorite tab because it just looks beautiful. You've got this blurred overlay with the text of things you've said you're interested in following and overall, I just think it looks great. Now, right now there's two types of websites that can be used with Apple News. There's websites that are huge that had the chance to completely optimize their content like CNN, ESPN, Wired, New York Times, Slate. You can see that when you launch these and tap on any of their stories, They've got this very sharp looking interface to scroll up and down the articles, and it's really just a joy to use at this point. However, Apple has not given this ability to all publishers yet. I expect for many of the other smaller websites, including my own website, if it's approved for Apple News, isn't going to be able to optimize it and have that nice looking view until sometime when iOS 9 is released in the fall, or maybe even a little bit beforehand. If a website hasn't had that chance by Apple to optimize their website, they can basically just set up an RSS feed, which is a list of all the articles that they've published on their website. So if we go to one that hasn't had the chance to do that full optimization, like 9to5Mac or even Mac Rumors, we can look throughout their content and tap on things, but you can see that it looks nice, but it definitely doesn't look as nice as something like Wired or CNN, a website that, like I said, has been given that opportunity to take the extra step. Now I'm sure that these websites are going to be given the opportunity to maximize their website for Apple News in the future, but right now, it just isn't like that. Regardless, the Favorites tab just gives you a nice grid view of all the websites that you said you were interested in following. Under Explore, it's going to suggest some websites that you might be interested in reading, and if you want to actually follow one, just tap on that nice little plus icon right there and it will automatically be added to your Favorites. Down below that is suggested topics where you can scroll throughout these, however, they're a lot more broad. Instead of specific websites, it's like software, politicians, medicine, much more specific things like that. And then even down further below, we've got the browse section, which just lists some simple categories that anyone might be interested in viewing, and if we tap on one of these, it's going to recommend suggested channels or topics for that particular category. Search is pretty simple, we can search for any websites or tap on one of these suggested searches. Let's just do adventure travel as that's number one right now. If we want to add one of these topics or channels to our favorites, just tap on one of those plus signs right there. And finally, this last page is pretty useful. If we want to save a story and a website supports that, we can go on to any of the websites and our favorites, just go on CNN, tap on the first thing that comes up, and we can hit that save button right there, it looks like a little bookmark. And then if we go back to our save section, it will be saved right there. And of course, the same is true for the history tab, only you don't actually have to press a button to move things to the history tab. Articles that you viewed are placed in there automatically. So that was a look at the news app in iOS 9. I thought it looked great, but let me know what you think about it down below in the comments section. Maybe you think it looks awful, maybe you love it just as much as me. Regardless, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed watching this video, feel free to hit that like button down below, and for more content on iOS 9, make sure you hit that subscribe button in case you haven't already. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS, hope you guys had a great day, and I will talk to you in the next one.